Welcome to another old school here on Megascorcher.com. I am I am all Matt. Hey, we are going to be taking a look here at a little game called Stunts. This is from uh, Broderbund. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But uh, they used to make a lot of stuff, like the old Test Drive series on the PC, uh, among other stuff. They were a pretty big company back then. Uh, this is just the the CPU playing, and they, they, they're kind of terrible at playing this game, so... Um, let's skip ahead here, and let's go to the actual game here. It says, end the duel, and I'm not really sure what the duel is. I don't know. I know what the old test drives are, though. They pretty much look like this game, but more realistic. Uh, Test Drive used to be the shit, man. That was like the best racing game on PC. You got like full dashboards and the windows would explode and cops would chase after you and shit. That game was pretty awesome. Uh, let's skip this shit. This game made in Canada, apparently. Alright, so... One of the best parts about this game is you get to make your own tracks. Uh, there's a bunch of them already made, but... You can see here new tracks. Let's just start with the. Uh, I don't remember what the first track is. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure this is the the first one with the two loop de loop side at the beginning. So we'll do this one first. Uh, let's see cars. Uh, this game also had a pretty interesting uh, way of dealing with uh, DRM. I'll get to show that to you soon here. Get to drive a truck, man. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, you know what? I'll go with this. Why not? F1 car. Let's do it. Um. Then let's go. Let's just drive. Let's just do it. So right here it says, uh, "Please enter the word in the manual." So page eight, line five, word seven. It's you. So you go, you see the dashboard and shit, like that's pretty, that's pretty awesome, I, that it looks like an F1 car like this, I thought. It said, fasten your seatbelt, if that's, if you're wondering what it said. Oh man, I better slow down, well here, here I'll show you, this game is still somewhat realistic here, if I take this jump going full speed, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I didn't, okay, I thought, I thought for sure that I was gonna die. Uh, this part's crazy. Um, I might die here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm upside down, but I did not explode. There you go. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> so, let's try that again. Let's see if I can actually do it. So this game was just a lot of fun. Like, one of the most fun parts of the game was just building your own tracks and seeing if you could actually finish them and stuff and do retarded retarded tricks and stuff like right there I'm surprised that I don't I just don't over jump that shit and just explode but I guess F1 cars are oh god stronger than you think okay let's try this shit again here whoa <laughs> slow down a little bit to make this turn whoa. And uh, maybe someday we'll take a look at the Test Drive games as well, because I remember loving those games a lot, man. A lot. You got to do a lot of stuff within that game that uh, you get to do today, man. Like, it was pretty advanced for when that game came out. I'm trying to remember where the loop-de-loops are. So now we're on a bridge, so there's these walls on the side. Um... Okay, so good thing there's no turns here, because when there's turns on bridges, they're, they're hard, because you hit the wall and you're dead. Whoa! Um, yeah, back then, a lot of games looked uh, pretty much exactly like this. Uh, if you went to the arcade, uh, you had a lot of games that looked just like this. And uh, Test Drive pretty much is also this, except maybe a little bit more detail, because there's, um, there's other cars and, and such. 
so there you go. Yeah, high score. That's me, Matt. Uh, let's go see. You can watch the replay from different angles. There's also, you can switch your camera angles while you're driving too. Um, right here, let's go make a track. See what this game is all about, because that was half the fun back then. So this is the uh, track editor. I'm going to go just new track. I have a mouse here. I know, right? Uh, I don't know what terrain is which to put the two. There we go. Done. So you have all these pieces here. Um, can you scroll? There's way more pieces, man. Trust me. You get dirt corners, ice corners. And then you get um, all this stuff here, like a half pipe. Uh, you get the loopy loops and the bridges, tunnels. Uh, you could do. You could even do the the split roads like there was in that race here. Corkscrews, uh, scenery. Okay, so let's see. Corkscrews, elevated quarter. Yeah, I, I didn't see the loop de loops. I know this game has loop de loops. Where is it? Bridge. Uh. Oh, there we go, loop. And the corkscrew. All right. So let's start doing this little track. I'm just going to do a little one. Show you how crazy you can make a track. Uh, this is the start line. I'm going to just put it right here. Then <clears throat> make a little bit of a rope before it goes into the insanity. So I can get some speed at least. Uh, let's do two loops in a row. Because I'm crazy like that. Uh, and then let's make that lead up into a bridge. I'm pretty sure you can put hills and stuff on it too. So if you want to elevate like this. But pretty sure that there was a way to just make a hill. And I don't remember. But here, let's put some trees near the loops. So it's dangerous. Uh... Let's just do the turn. Let's just do a turn here. I think that's good. Like I said, little track. I'm not gonna do a big track. There's water in this level. Crazy. All right. Uh, actually, well here, let's make it even more dangerous. We'll put some icy road here right before a corkscrew. Uh, what could I put after the corkscrew? Uh, let's put a tunnel. Why not? And then we'll put a half pipe. Uh, half pipe start. <coughs> oh, okay. So you can make like a a pipe that opens, and then you could like drive. I I wonder if you could drive there. We'll see. So what happened here is I put a full pipe here and then a full pipe here, and this is only a half pipe. So I'm wondering if you could jump from half pipe to half pipe upside down. I doubt it. I doubt it, but uh, maybe we'll find out. Let's go do a sharp turn here. And there you go. That's my track. Let's just call it short track. And then go done. So that's my track. That's what it looks like. And uh, let's go play it. And this was half the fun, man. Like back then, uh, local multiplayer was a thing. Not like it is today. Did a lot of stuff locally like this. Just uh, here, I build this track. Go try to finish it. It's goddamn insane. I bet you're never going to finish it. <laughs> that was half the fun. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh! <coughs> I could have easily hit that tree right there. So, um, I'm pretty sure you could skip obstacles and still be fine. So, let's just skip that bridge. It may not count as an official lap, though. We'll see. Oh god, ice road right before a fucking corkscrew. That was a terrible idea. Whoa! Oh, I'm done. There you go, I jumped the half pipe upside down. <laughs> uh, 
Let's try that again. Oh, man. Didn't even get past the first loop to loop this time. So I'm pretty sure you can go around the loop to loops, but the, the grass just makes you slow down so much that it's really not worth it if you want a fast time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God damn. Oh, man. I, I can't even tell where I am anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Let's okay. I'm trying to remember what the camera angle change button is. I might want to try to do that. Oh, whoa. Um, is there like a behind the cap? Nope. Just off to the side a little bit there. And then you still see your dashboard, which is funny. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, totally going off to the side. <coughs> see, if the camera was from behind, I would be able to do it. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so, no outside cameras. That's really not worth doing. Just stay in the loop de loop, you bastard. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh my god, I barely missed that tree again. Same thing happened as the first time, eh? Not gonna get to go on the bridge. And you know, you, you just have a tendency to go full rip in these games. You're never going to slow down. Like, why would you do that? It would probably help to slow down a couple times, but I'm not doing that. Oosh, crap. <laughs> Hard track, man. Hard track, and it's a short one, too. That's what, and that's what I'm saying. Like, we would just make ridiculous long tr races and, like, good luck, man. Because you're never going to finish it. And that was half the fun, but like half the fun was trying to also break the game, so like sometimes you would make like super big jumps and stuff. Whoa, I'm going back to the finish line. There you go, I finished. Yeehaw! <laughs> and I'm back on my feet. Or my wheels. Hmm. I'm gonna try it one more time. And then probably call it a, an old school for this game. It's a lot of fun. If you never played it, it's it's a shame. Because this was really one of my favorite PC games growing up. Oh! Whoa! Okay, let's try to go for the bridge this time. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh, slow down! Slow down because I'm going to explode. Oh! Okay, I'm good. Whoa! <laughs> okay, now, I think for that, that corkscrew, I might slow down a little bit like I did for that second pie. Oh, God! Slippery roads! Yeah! And now I'm gonna... You know, you know what? Like with... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, so down. I, I was gonna say, uh... I'll try to jump that gap in the in the pipe, but screw that. Screw that. I'm gonna get a finish here. Yeah! And, uh, I think that'll do it. That, that's how you play, uh... Stunts. Awesome game. So see you guys on the next old school.